Hello everyone. Binomial theorem can be applied to the expansion of brackets. While Pascal triangle helps with the coefficients of the expanded brackets. Let's consider two variables a plus b and these two variables are enclosed in a bracket when the highest power of the index is zero we're going to have that the coefficient of this expansion is one if we have a plus b to the power of one if we expand this bracket, we're going to have that the coefficient of A is 1 and the coefficient of B is also 1. For A plus B, all squared. If we expand this bracket, the coefficient of the expanded terms will be 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. And we're going to end with one which we are going to prove shortly if we expand this bracket and the highest power here is three the expansion of this bracket will give us a coefficient of one one plus two is three two plus one is three and we're going to end with one if we have a plus b all to the power of 4, we're going to have that the coefficient of the terms in this expansion will be 1, 1 plus 3 is 4, 3 plus 3 is 6, 3 plus 1 is 4, and we're going to end with 1. We can do this for 5, 6, even 10, 15 to any power. And if you continue doing this expansion, you are going to see that we are actually forming a triangle. The mathematician and scientist that improved on this expansion is Pascal, and hence the name Pascal Triangle. This A and B in this expansion can be any variable and the plus operator here can be minus in some expansion. It's easy to expand A plus B to the power of 0, to the power of 1, to the power of 2. Anything to the power of 0 is 1. To the power of 2 means we are going to expand this bracket twice. a multiplied by a will give you a squared. a multiplied by b will give you plus ab because this is plus and this is plus. a is done. Next, b We'll multiply a and you're going to get b a or a b both are the same next b will multiply b and you're going to get b squared a squared is here and this is plus b squared a b plus a b AB is an object and is added to the same object. You are going to have two of the objects. So plus AB plus AB is plus 2AB. Considering the Pascal triangle, the coefficient of this is 1. The coefficient of this term is 2. And the coefficient of this term is 1. This is the first term. This is the second term. 
and this is the third term. One, two, one, for when the highest power is two, can be obtained from the Pascal triangle. Let's try the expansion of A plus B all to the power of three. This means that A plus B will be expanded three times. When we expanded these two brackets, we actually got a squared plus 2ab plus b squared for just these two brackets. And this will multiply a plus b in brackets. a squared will multiply a and you will get a to the power of 3. a squared will multiply b you're going to get plus a squared b a squared is done next 2ab will multiply a and you're going to get 2a squared b next 2ab will multiply b you're going to get 2a b squared next b squared will multiply a and you're going to get a b squared next b squared will multiply b and you're going to get b to the power of three here a to the power of three is alone next a squared b and this is a squared b Hence, this a squared b and a squared b, we're going to put it together. 1 a squared b plus 2 a squared b will give you 3 a squared b. Next, we have a b squared and here we have a b squared. 2 a b squared plus 1 ab squared we're going to get 3 ab squared and lastly we have b to the power of 3 considering the coefficient of a to the power of 3 we have 1 the next term the coefficient is 3 the next term the coefficient is 3 and the last term the coefficient is 1 when the highest power is 3 we are going to consider this coefficient from the Pascal triangle which is 1 3 3 1 and here we have 1 3 3 1 however if we have a plus b all to the power of 4. Instead of expanding this bracket four times, just as we have done when the highest power is 2 and 3, we're going to apply combination in the place of Pascal triangle in the expansion of this bracket. This is where binomial theorem comes in. For this expansion, I would have done this for when the highest power is 2 and when the highest power is 3. Here we have that the highest power is 4. Hence, I will have 4 combination 0, 4 combination 1, 4 combination 2, 4 combination 3, 4 combination 4 when i get to 4 combination 4 i stop next i will have a to the power of 4 then this b we take 0 a we take 4 and b we take 0 
in the next one i will have a a a and a here i have b b b and b this is four the next one is three two one zero this is zero the next one is one two three and four if we solve this this is the answer to this binomial expansion by summing up each of these terms if we solve this either with your calculator for combination zero or you can solve it manually by using factorial or you can use the pascal triangle when the highest power is four our first answer is the coefficient is one for four combination zero our answer is four for four combination two our answer is six for four combination three our answer is four and for four combination four our answer is one so we have gotten the coefficients of each of these next we are going to have a to the power of four anything to the power of zero is one here we have a to the power of three and this is b to the power of one which is b and this is a squared and this is b squared this is a and this is b to the power of three anything to the power of zero is one and this is b to the power of four if you put this together here we're going to have a to the power of four this is four a to the power of three b this is six a squared b squared this is four a b to the power of three and this is b to the power of four hence we're going to put this together on a straight line to have a to the power of four plus four a to the power of three b plus six a squared b squared plus four a b to the power of three plus b to the power of four and this becomes our answer we are going to solve more problems in the next video by actually applying everything we have learned here to different questions of binomial expansion whenever you are given a complex bracket to expand remember a can be anything and b can be any variable a can be maybe x squared y to the power of 3 for a and b can be maybe 2xy and instead of plus we can have minus and here instead of to the power of 4 we can have to the power of 19 how do we actually solve such problem using binomial theorem this is what we are going to be looking at in the next video if this video was helpful please click the like button also subscribe for more videos like this i will see you in the next video lesson